my name's Stuart. I'm with the Four Crows Bushcraft and Primitive Living Skills. Tonight, I'm going to be visiting a local badger set uh, in the hope that I can get them on video for you to have a look at. Um, as we all know, badgers, um, or all, most animals, um, have very keen senses. Um, so when you're, especially badgers, when I observe them, um, their, their, eye, their vision and their eyesight is not the best, um, but their sense of smell and their sense of hearing is very acute. So you have to go in um, prepared. Um, so I would just like to discuss just now before I head to the set itself, um, clothing basically. Um, myself, I don't wear um, any DPM um, or camouflage gear as I find um, on the years that I have been watching animals, um, I've never had to need it basically. Um, so what I do wear uh, is basically um, olive drab, green basically. Um, and this jacket here is what I normally wear, it's a, based on a, a softy design, um, but this jacket is very well worn, as you can probably make out. <laughs> Holes here and cover uh, sparks from up a fire. And the reason for that is I don't wash this jacket. I wear it at every camp that I go to. And when it comes home, it just hangs at the bottom of our stairs um, where it's not going to pick up any household smells. There's, the wood smoke has permeated this jacket so it can smells all the time um, and like I say I never wash it so I don't want it to pick up um, smells of um, washing up powder, conditioner, um, deodorants, anything like that because that's going to give you a way to the animal because like I said they've got a far keener sense of smell than we have. Um, so that's basically my uh, get up for uh, observing animals. Um, also, a little bit about kit. I've, I'm not a, a kit orientated person, um, but just a couple of things that I take with me um, for the observation. Obviously the, the camera um, for recording them, um, but also I take along for comfort and as well as um, camouflage, if you want to call it such a thing, um, is basically a, a hat. Just basic, basic wool cap, comfort type cap. Um, again, not washed, been many camps. <sighs> Lovely smell of wood smoke in there. Um, so that's disguising any human sense. So that's just to keep the head warm. Um, also, I also bring along a cap comforter, basically, uh, or a neck warmer. Thin material, again, straight out of the packaging, into wood smoke of a fire at a camp to disguise any, any scent. In the filming, you'll also notice me with the hat on and the neck warmer pulled up over my face. Um, this is because light skin, white skin, uh, the glare animals can pick up on that. Um, so when I'm wearing the, the neck warmer, I have it pulled up to over my nose to dis uh, disguise the, the glare. You can see it in the camera just now how it's um, lighting up down one side. So um, I'll wear the, the, the neck warm up over my face so you can just see my eyes um, when I'm uh, in position at the set. So it's multifunctional to keep me warm but also to help as a, a bit of a disguise. Um, and the other thing that I take along is a basic cheap um, set mat that you can buy camping shops outdoors 
places um, and the reason for this is it'll keep your bum warm because <laughs> it gets quite cold when you're sitting still for two three hours um, in the hope that you're going to see a wild animal um, so keep your bum warm but also stop your bum from getting numb because <laughs> as I say sitting in the same position still for long periods of time um, can be quite uh, sore on the, the old backside. Another thing I'd like to discuss is uh, movement. I have noticed over the years that while in an observation position watching uh, animals that you can you can move not a great deal you know obviously gonna shift around and, you know this is gonna this movement is gonna get you noticed but um, moving the leg or, or just ever so slightly to, to shift your position a little um, but do it slowly um, and I found that the animals aren't too um, worried about that Maybe it's my thinking that I'm, I'm calm, I'm not coming across as a, a hunter, I'm coming across as calm, part of nature, part of the woodland. So maybe that um, the animals sense that, I don't know, I'll never know. Um, but to me that's, as I say over the years, that I've came to that conclusion basically. I can get away with it, um, but obviously it's horses for courses, um, so it might be different for yourselves compared to me, but I just know what works for me and what I can get away with and what I have gotten away with in the past. Um, so anyway, enough chit chat. On to the, uh, the set, which is quite a, a distance away, so I'll stop it here and uh, I'll catch up with you when I get towards the set and speak to you then. Okay, cheers. again <coughs> excuse me I don't know if you can see but the uh, telegraph pole behind me here um, is where the badger set is located so what I've done basically is got myself zipped up to keep warm because you're going to be doing a lot of sitting around for a while the hat on again um, never washed it's just uh, smells of wood smoke and uh, so what I'll do is I'll slowly make my way in, um, find my position uh, above the set and uh, we'll hopefully um, get a sight in. Okay.
Uh, well, there we go. Um, didn't see any badgers at the set there just now, but uh, we did get a couple of rabbits <laughs> we saw. Um, obviously, uh, like I say, when it comes to... You don't need a lot of gear, basically what I've got here. Uh, this neck warmer, uh, as you saw in the video, I had it up over my eyes and my, my nose to hide my cheekbones because um, the sun was shining at my face, obviously, and uh, the glare with the showing up. You can tell by when the um, crows, quite a very wary bird, when they fly over, um, they, they, you see them veering off, you know they've spotted you. Um, so once it quietened down, sat there for a while, they were actually flying very low overhead and no veering off. So, um, the, uh, obviously I was attuned into the environment sort of thing. Um, but, so what I'll do is I'm heading back to home. Um, it's getting cold. It's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. As you can see, it's a lovely clear sky all around. I'll just let you see a shot of the, so that's my, the home town in the background there. Um, heading back there. Um, there we go. Uh, so there's another badger set further on, which I'll uh, see if we can spot anything just before we lose the light altogether. But um, we'll see what happens. So uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Cheers.